Now here's a fantastic use we can put the number 10 color shaper to. What we do is we bring it down like this folks. This is how I started this water off here. You drag it like that. Now that doesn't look anything does it? But what it does do, it gives me all these colors there for me to go into the water and you get the reflected light coming through. I just you can see how it works but I, I'm not going to spend too long on it but just to show you how it then we can bring it back. You then come across but still that water will still be reflecting that area. I'd already put a light grey on this picture in any event. So what we do now is go across. Gives us a fantastic base. And I think you can see how you build do a little bit more. And then you can see how it's building up. But this is a picture that we, we're doing for our members. And now we're going to be doing it and following me. And I think you can get a really good idea. Let me just follow a few of these colours on that blue particularly. See how I think you can see from that. But if you want to see it all finish you, you have to watch the picture being done on a member site. But that is a fantastic use for the number 10. You could say, well, could you use one of these or the uh, the other the other famous colour shade, but we have this is a grey one. You can. The problem is if you have to do it like that. Now that will work, folks. The number 10 is quicker and it's stronger. Being a grey, it has that strength to it. And here's another great example of how the number 10 works so well in this kind of situation. I'm going to use it for the water here. To start with, I'm putting a, a light grey, cool grey pencil, pastel pencil in. That will be rubbed. Now you can either rub that with the grey or with your finger. That doesn't really matter here. All we're doing is just making sure that we're covering all the paper. That's a base colour. Now into that base colour we're going to be putting some green and other colours. I'm going to be using all of these colours. You don't want to see me do all of this. But basically there will be a little bit of white in there, a little bit of blue in there, just a touch of blue. And we'll be bringing this down, so we want to bring a little bit of blue into here as well. A little bit of, bit of grey into here as well. Anyway, let me let me show you what that looks like before I blend it using those colours. Right, I'm just finishing that off now. Now, this is what happens with it. When, uh, you, you could use your finger, and that's how I used to do it. You could also use the colour shapers. Um, great, but you've seen how the width of that. Now you could do it, but it would take longer. But the number 10, watch, you start here and you drag it like that. I'm going to go over the other, the other as well, so you see how this works. Start right there. You can see how accurate this can be. Now, am I pressing hard, you say? Yes, I am. But look at the effect you get, folks. And this blue is going to look stunning. Look at that. One more. And I'm just going to carry on over here because we, we need to have all of this compatible. Now look at that. And you don't stop there because we can also add just a little more. Coming across here, put some more colour in. It's a little darker here, so we put some strength in here. Just a little bit there. And that's really that picks out the boat now nicely. And you can keep doing that until it works absolutely perfectly for you. And then you're back again with just a little more. And all you have to do then, folks, all I have to do then is to come across with my all my colours like that and it will end up as you saw 
really beautifully. A little bit of white in there as well. A little bit of white. Beautiful. A little bit of blue. do as well look look show you show off now folks put those in as you can see I've done that there you go. There you go. stunning have a longer view of it well that's what it looked like when I finished and I think you'll agree that that's pretty impressive now here's another example of how we can create the effects with color shaper. I go all the way along. This is a picture that I'm, I'm working on for our member site. Now what I'm doing now is I'm just wiping it on because I want it a bit lighter here. Um, Now, and that will look 